For more information on my programs, please visit masajadi.com. That's M A S S A J A D Y.com. Today's topic is unconditional love. Uh, part one is the big picture. Part two, deeper understanding, practical application. Uh, and then part three, summary. Uh, a lot of questions. As I know, I don't really uh, look at the questions. Um, and where I get my knowledge, uh, sure, it's um, very, very minimal. It's from experience, although I run more and more the EI. Uh, I operate or, yeah, I operate from an EI perspective more and more, but um, exponential intelligence, but the knowledge is tapped into that beautiful blue space, or if you want to call it the uh, universal database. And that's where I tap in uh, and get. So it's just pure, straight, raw knowledge. Uh, as a note, uh, sometimes, um, or a lot of times actually, I, I talk about a lot of, a lot of uh, subjects. It doesn't mean that I operate out of those subjects because the subjects that we talk about are pretty advanced or the knowledge or behavior patterns or, you know, or high level advanced. It's actually, uh, the truth, uh, the bottom line truth. And the reason why I say that is because there's no exceptions to the rule. Uh, if you, if you go through any of the podcast, um, or the EI mastery, uh, there is no, ex- there is no exceptions to the rules. So, so you know you've gotten to the highest level where it works uh, in every situation all the time uh, with everybody. So, same thing here: unconditional love. Um, but it is something that we should keep striving for that knowledge, right? Uh, so that knowledge, or, or uh, our behaviors, or our attitudes, or morals, everything. Uh, we keep striving for higher and higher, higher morals, behavior patterns, attitudes. Um, if we can find, if we find exceptions, then well, we're not at our higher self. So, so it's a great motivator to keep trying. Uh, a lot of religions, uh, a lot of social views, a lot of morals, and morality standards. Uh, take a look at yours. Uh, if there's exceptions, if there's different cultures practicing it differently, there's different religions practicing it differently, uh, then you're not at the higher level. Okay? Um, EI Mastery, Unconditional Love. Uh, I'm just going to read this first half and then we'll jump into the questions. Uh, what is true unconditional love uh, and what would life be like if we could live each moment from this space? How would we perceive our fellow neighbors, friends, or our enemies? How would we perceive ourselves? So in this lecture, knowledge gained from exponential intelligence, uh, I'll help uh, not only you guys, but uh, myself as well, understand the power of unconditional love. Uh, The obstacles, what obstacles prohibit us uh, from experiencing and, and what we can do to exist in the present moment where unconditional love is accessed. So, um, <clears throat> so let's just, uh, I'm just tapping into the group, uh, creating, creating a, creating a, a frequency of unconditional love for the group and then, uh, subgroups, uh, subgroups depending on how this mastermind uh, comes together. Uh, subgroups, say, people who've been, say, abused, right? You would see unconditional love differently. So creating, say, somewhat of a different frequency to help you, say, release the abuse pattern so you get to see that unconditional love. So uh, the first question is, what is the exponential what is the exponential intelligence definition of unconditional love, and how does it differ from ordinary love? Uh, well, uh, exponential intelligence, there, uh, there is no unconditional love. There is no ordinary love. Uh, it's just love. It's just pure. It's, uh, and that's what I was talking about earlier. It's just raw, straight-out love. Uh, unconditional love, uh, 
means that there is no excuses there's no there's no reasons if this if x happens then why uh why always happens why always should happen if that makes sense to you um it's not like if x happens or if a happens then you know you get another uh equation if this happens you get it it's just one equation uh if you're talking about love so it's it's just straight out and one thing to note is that love is not a goal that we seek. That's the biggest thing. Even in exponential intelligence, yes, we do. Uh, most individuals, you know, we do, what we do is we seek for love. Uh, in exponential intelligence or the higher realms of spirit space, uh, there is no love to be, say, found or seen. It's just a place of being. Okay? Uh, the the result of that being is the love uh, that you feel. So if you're at spirit level, and that's why we're actually here, uh, if you're at spirit level, because you are everything, you won't really feel love the way we do here. Now I say that because I've uh, I've crossed over a couple times, uh, and yes, uh, I've felt that love, which is millions of times purer than anything here, and, uh, and the key word is pure. You, and to really understand unconditional love, uh, yes, we're, I'll try to explain it here for us, but you really can't grasp. Something like this definition of unconditional love until you felt it yourself. I can explain all day long, say what light is to a blind person, but once they actually see light, say they got their uh, eyesight back, they'll go, oh, that's what you meant. Same thing here. So I'll try to explain it uh, the best way I can. Um, so, with that example, the truer that you are, the more love that you give out unconditionally. So, tr- by truer is like the less distortions or the less filters that you see life through, you, uh, you see your, re- your reality through, you see yourself through. Uh, the more, uh, again, or the closer you get to that state of unconditional love. For more information on my programs, please visit masajadi.com. That's M-A-S-S-A-J-A-D-Y dot com.